something that I did not expect to happen today in the news was that Ryan Gosling has become the big face of Doctor Who for the past, what, 12 hours? We woke up to news this morning that Ryan Gosling, who is currently in uh, Los Angeles filming the new Barbie movie, which he stars in as Ken, Shooter Gatwa was also in it as well in, in an undisclosed role, but he was seen uh, walking to and from set in a shirt that has Shooty Gatwa as the 14th Doctor in it. And this artwork comes from um, Matthew Purchase, a.k.a. the Cyber Devil. So this is a piece of fan art that he's done. He does terrific photo edits and Photoshop and covers, things like that. I've used this artwork a couple of times in videos before with permission. And he's a really, really super talented artist. You got Shooter Gatwa here in a turtleneck with a yellow blazer, rings on his fingers. Uh, Doctor Who 14 in uh, Roman numerals there at the bottom. It's a really cool piece of artwork that Ryan Gosling was seen walking around him. We also have Shooter Gatwa's um, Instagram stories. Uh, Doll supporting doctors, Yas King. And it's Ryan Gosling with a denim jacket, opening it up to reveal a black shirt with Cyber Devil's artwork there. And Shooter Gatwa at the bottom says, as if I couldn't love him anymore, uh, with a heart and uh, googly eyes emoji. So, yeah, and the Cyber Devil took this in really good spirit, uh, as worn by Ryan Gosling, sold by the artist. Now, annoyingly, Cyber Devil does not sell this artwork in his own store on a red on a red bubble or an etsy because he doesn't have the legal rights to do so but what tends to happen with some really talented artists online including the cyber devil is that people will take his or their or take his or their artwork put it on their own online storefronts and make money from it despite this shirt that ryan gosling is wearing still having the matthew purchase thumbnail and the watermark in the middle so someone has just taken this artwork not even bothered to remove the thumbnail and ryan gosling has been seen wearing it on the set of barbie presumably this is not just everyday attire i'm thinking this is just oh i'm gonna walk to work uh, with shooting out with today wearing this shirt just just for bants i guess now uh, Matthew did start putting this shirt on Redbubble, saying, as I don't own everything in the image, approximately 50% of the proceeds I will make will go to the uh, Goboka Rwanda Trust. However, after a couple of hours, BBC did a, uh, a takedown of it. The Redbubble shop is no longer there now. You just get a 404 page. Uh, and Matthew said, the BBC have rightly taken down my artwork from Redbubble. I know this is not going to stop third-party sellers, so I wonder if there's anyone I can contact at the BBC about this. The email Redbubble gave me bounced. It's a shame the charity will lose out. So, yeah, uh, the BBC do have a right to do that. I know someone in the chat said, thanks, BBC. They do kind of have a right to do this. Uh, they, they, It's, it's their... Uh, logo it's the TARDIS as well it's shooting out it this is a 14th Doctor unofficial artwork but it's something that you can't really put online for profit but when it comes to um the actual the narrative of this shall we say firstly Ryan Gosling is actually a bit of a closeted Doctor Who fan he did an interview back in 2013 2014 when he directed a film called Lost River and that had Matt Smith in it and he said that he wanted to cast Matt Smith after uh, he was doing something else and Doctor Who was on in the background and he looks over and watches Matt Smith delivering the speech in the Pandorica opens to all of the spaceships the I am talking speech where he's basically saying come and have a go aliens if you think you're hard enough and he thought this act is amazing this act is brilliant i want to cast him in my film and then that happened lost river not a very good film but an interesting one it was ryan gosling's directorial debut nearly 10 years ago so now ryan gosling is on set with shooty gatwa wearing stolen merch because you know matthew until like today after this was prompted by these images on social media did not start selling the shirt so a third party seller decided to steal his artwork sell it ryan gosling bought it or maybe alternatively ryan gosling got somebody to print it themselves or just ordered a single one either way okay either way so it makes you wonder though like if this has been talked about a lot in like th this piece of fan art so shooty gatwa also shared this on his uh, instagram as well the stories just found out the artwork came from the amazing cyber devil who matthew purchase so yeah that he's been noticed by that russell t davis uh threatened to sue ryan gosling on instagram as well and the official doctor who twitter account also acknowledged this as well so it's fun it, it's it's one of those rare moments where 
barring the red bubble site getting taken down which i guess that they had rights to do i guess uh, as dubbing gene fan says in the chat a violation of copyright they had every right to do that but it's a, a rare moment where the doctor who community in current times as a whole has rallied around um a, a fan creator because especially like we see this all the time on youtube even in the last video i recorded beforehand uh talking about bbc just striking down everything that they caught on youtube so this is actually a, a rare moment where the bbc is like oh no we, we appreciate fan works we appreciate fan creativity you know you can't sell it on red bubble but we actually appreciate and we'll promote this red ranger 241 okay time to get ryan gosling in the 60th then uh, yeah i think can you imagine a tardis team now where shooty gatwa is the doctor Yasmin Finney is companion number one and Ryan Gosling is companion number two that is like that's like a return to the Matt Smith days right where you've got um where you've got that TARDIS trio that would be mad that'd be so cool um so and James Wagner there was a filming update a couple of days ago that put shooting on the set with David that would be difficult though because he shooting out is filming Barbie right now and I imagine that's you know, it's kind of difficult to travel to and from the UK at the moment because our airlines are buckling. Um, so that would be very difficult to get Shooty from America to Cardiff and then back in time for Barbie. I wouldn't put a lot of stock in that rumour. I reckon he'll be in the 60th anniversary at some point, but I don't think that this past week would have been the time it would have happened. Not too far, Jay. Can't Matthew purchase the rights to the elevator? <laughs> pun. Pun. Um... So, yeah, like, so uh, there was something that Matthew actually tweeted just before I went live today. Uh, what was it? And he, he, these tweets have blown up that he's done. Um, here we go. Thanks to everyone who's tried to help me, as JNT would say, uh, in quote, stay tuned. So who knows if anything's happening? Uh, Matthew says he wants to work with the BBC on this. I never expected all this to happen. Can you imagine just waking up one day and your fan art has appeared on a Hollywood blockbuster set worn by Ryan Gosling? Uh, that's mad. I think that's so cool. This whole story today, like, I hope Matthew's doing okay. Um, when I, um, I, I asked him a while ago if he wanted to appear on stream and talk about his work, and he was like, no, I, 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 I just want to keep quiet about stuff. So this is like a massive spotlight that's been shone on him from across the pond, from Ryan Gosling, Gosling and Shooty Gatwa. So I hope he's doing okay, but I think he's got a lot of followers and a lot of attention from this, and he's a really talented dude, and he really, really deserves it. So I just think, yeah, I think that's really, really cool, and it just shows how far like fandom can influence and be seen by the people who actually make and produce the stuff that we are fans of uh matthew purchase put on his instagram that shooter gatwa the official instagram of shooter gatwa is now following him as well which is also kind of mad but it's it's like when i did my 1963 live stream last year and then i discovered that jamie magnus stone is actually a secret subscriber of mine and that he knows about Cyber Steve and Cyber Jeff and those skits that I do. And now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I, I, I think that while Chris Chibnall is obviously a fan of Doctor Who and the people making it are also fans, I do think that there's been a bit of a of reluctance of uh, to have fan engagement with the actual creatives. The fan show uh, was something that was put to an end towards the end of the Peter Capaldi era, the Stephen Moffat era, and wasn't really started back up again. Uh, and I hope that... Um, even if it's not a fan show, that we do get like more engagement outside of conventions, of course. Maybe the, the inklings are there. Maybe these are the first signs for it. But I think it's just a really cool general story. I think it's just, I, I, I really, uh, this is a really fun day to be watching social media. Alex L, the fan show starring Mr. Tyler's Reviews as presenter. Oh no, the, the problem is, is that I think I am maybe a bit too controversial to be working for doctor who a brand in, a, in a, an official capacity because you know i do get political sometimes we, i the bbc would really really want to avoid um stories where you know, oh the, the the your kids watch doctor who and the fan show online is hosted by somebody who thinks that boris johnson should get fucked by a chainsaw like you know i don't think the bbc want that headline i mean it would technically be true but I think they just want to kind of avoid that and have someone with a much smaller political profile. I'm not even a political streamer, but my political thoughts are very well known and out there. And I also do tend to talk about a bit more controversial topics like uh, racism within fandom and sexism and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that, that's 
<laughs> at Timelord852 to get someone like Josh Snares. Oh, they don't even want Josh Snares doing stuff, though, because they always strike down his documentaries and stuff on YouTube. They, 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 uh, he, he did official stuff for them with the Daleks um, Master Plan, Mission to the Unknown documentary. And then he starts doing more, like, countdowns and listener reviews, and the BBC strike him down. No, they don't care. High voltage Rusty Davis is certainly political. Oh, yeah, and but there's a difference between... Here's a creative on the show, one of the best writers in the UK, and here's some dude who does a fan show on YouTube for said show. If, if, you, if you're going to have somebody be the big personality, you have them be the big creative. You don't have them be the liability on a fan show. I still think, like, th there is no shortage of great, of people who could host a fan show. But to be, to be fair, since the fan show, Doctor Who as a fandom has grown and evolved and changed as online media and, and culture has changed. There's now way more podcasts than ever before. Josh Carr from Who Knew uh, gets really great high-profile guests. I Shout out to Who Knew. Does, does terrific work. Uh, the production values on Josh Snare's projects are, like, second to none. Like, I, like yeah, now we're, we're getting way more fans who are in, engaged and involved in fandom. Honestly, you can say what you want about the Chibnall era, but I think its fans have been possibly the most creative set of fans since the revival. I know that maybe comes uh, due to social media and Instagram and all these other online platforms be like growing, so you see more of it. But the fan art that the 13th Doctor's era has produced is is brilliant like not just of course like matthew purchase but I, i've seen the 13th doctor fan art and the work that has come from the 13th doctor fans and the stands it's top tier stuff top tier